So I just finished testing Windows 7 versus Windows 8, and then the beta of Windows 10 gets released. And I thought to myself, hey, since everyone loves a good three-way, let's just test them all against each other in a battle royale. So let's move on now to the benchmarks where I'll be testing three games, I'll also throw in a productivity benchmark and some boot times for you guys, but keep in mind that Windows 10 is still only in its infant stages and it's still not a polished OS unlike Windows 8.1 or 7.1 which are. Uh, the specs for my rig, I'll be putting that in the description below as well, that's a 5820K and a GDX 970. But let's move on now to the first benchmark, Battlefield 4, 1440p Ultra on the test range, Windows 10 lagging behind the other two scoring 109.96 average FPS versus Windows 8.1 which scored 124.28 average FPS versus 7.1 which scored 118.34 average FPS. So Windows 8.1 gets the clear victory here coming above the other two by quite a dip bit. I mean you can't put this down to variance. Windows 8.1 clearly scored a victory in Battlefield 4. Let's move on now to Armour 3 1080p Custom Ultra. Windows 10 scored 74.176 average FPS versus Windows 8.1 which scored 73 3.56 average FPS versus Windows 7.1 which scored 74.58 average FPS. So Windows 7.1 even though it got the victory there really wasn't a lot here. I mean you could put this down to variance and this game did play fine on all three of the OS's and the OS will really not make a difference in that game. So let's move on now to Skyrim 1080p Ultra Preset. Windows 10 scored 179.08 average FPS versus Windows 8.1 scoring 175.08 FPS versus Windows 7.1 which scored 177.74 FPS. So Windows 10 actually scored a victory here. I was quite surprised considering that these games aren't even optimized for Windows 10 as it's been just been released in beta. So that was nice to see that Windows 10 did win the Skyrim benchmark. Uh, moving on now to CS6 Adobe Premiere Pro. This this is a 9 minute video with 50 megabits per second target and 100 megabits per second max. Windows 10, it managed to render this video in 501 seconds versus Windows 8.1 which scored 5, 491 seconds and Windows 7.1 which came in at 502 seconds. So Windows 8.1, it did score a victory here, I mean it was consistently rendering the video a little bit faster so I did test this two times on both three, I mean on all three <laughs> OS's and 7.1 and 10 they scored about the same so there wasn't much between those two but Windows 8.1 it did score the best render time in CS6. Let's move on now to Cinebench R15. This is where Windows 10 actually came out on top. I was actually surprised. It came in with a score of 1239 points versus Windows 8.1 which scored 1212 points versus Windows 7.1 which scored 1231 points. So that's, I'm glad to see that Windows 10 won this benchmark. So that's really good news considering this OS is still in beta. Uh, let's move on now to raw boot time. So this is with all my bio, not, you know, no fast boot settings enabled. This is just the raw raw boot the way I generally like it. Windows 10, it came in with 29.21 seconds. Windows 8.1 came in at 28.92 seconds and Windows 7.1, 33.18 seconds. So Windows 8.1 and 10 are kind of similar in their boot times. Windows 7 was clearly lagging behind by a little bit here. However, it's nothing to fret over or get really upset over, but yeah, but basically Windows 8.1 does boot up faster than Windows 7.1. Windows 10 is kind of fo going to follow the same suit as Windows 8.1. So that's it guys, in conclusion I will say uh, with the current games that are out it doesn't really make a difference what OS you use except for Battlefield 4 which did score a victory, quite a significant victory over the other two. Uh, Windows 10 I mean it's still in the beta stages however it will come with DX12, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Windows 8.1 I believe that will have support for DX12 as well, uh, Windows 7 I believe they'll drop uh, support for that OS with the release of Windows 10. Anyway guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City. And yeah, that's about it. Bye.